Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Emily and I'm thrilled to be your guide as we dive into the exciting world of happy numbers and explore our assignment feature. This tool is a game changer, providing teachers with a dynamic way to personalize learning and providing students with an additional engaging option to master math skills. So what makes the happy numbers assignment feature unique? Our assignment feature comes with exclusive content specifically crafted to enhance targeted skills while aligning with the usual happy numbers learning path. Our assignments are designed to span across all pre-K through grade five skills. This new feature allows you to tailor instruction to individual students' needs effortlessly. Assign any skill from any grade to any student or group. Tasks include both guided practice and regular practice. Stay informed about your students' progress, time spent, and accuracy with our special assignment reporting. Identify strengths and weaknesses for each student, enabling strategic interventions. Students receive instant feedback and step-by-step -step guidance, the same support provided in our standard Happy Numbers content. If persistent struggles are detected, Happy Numbers will automatically cancel the assignment, ensuring a positive learning experience. Let's start with the basics, accessing Happy Numbers assignment feature and setting everything up. Once you're in your teacher account, at the top of your screen next to the report section, you'll see the assignment section. To create an assignment, I will press on the Add Assignment button. The first step is to select your students. Assign tasks to specific students or groups based on their proficiency levels identified by the placement test results. Use the below grade level, on grade level, and above grade level filters to easily sort your students. Next, you're going to select your assignment size. Choose the appropriate task set duration and number of skills to assign. You have three options here. The five minute task set is ideal for warmups, introducing new concepts, or quick reviews such as exit tickets. Only one skill can be assigned for a five minute practice. For the 10 minute task set, teachers can assign up to two skills to target specific learning objectives, ensuring students receive a well-rounded practice session. The 15 minute task set offers the opportunity to assign up to three skills, this option is excellent for reinforcing a broader range of concepts or reviewing multiple areas of difficulty. It's important to note that the time for completing an assignment is determined by the medium time of an average student of a certain grade level. If the assignment grade level is higher or lower than the student's grade level, the completion time could vary. Starting from third grade, the time range for completing assignments increases as the tasks are designed to practice more advanced skills. Next, it's time to choose the skills we want to assign. Customize the assignment by selecting the skills that you want to focus on. Each skill is provided with two types of tasks, guided practice and regular practice. Guided practice involves tasks that use models and manipulatives. Each step of the assignment is thoroughly explained and supported with hints. The sequence of tasks is organized with increasing levels of complexity and aims to achieve a clear understanding of a specific skill. The regular practice tasks are aimed at practicing and reinforcing skills. Practice tasks serve as a valuable tool for students to revisit and strengthen their understanding of core concepts. This strategy allows educators to encourage students to apply what they have learned. You can preview your selected assignments beforehand and before finalizing the assignment. This preview option ensures that you're providing a well-rounded and targeted learning experience. The next step is to select a date and give your assignment a name. Give your assignment a relative and descriptive name and choose the start and end dates for the task set. Submit the assignment by clicking on, a, on the Complete Assignment button. The assignment will appear in students' accounts on the dates that you've chosen. Let's explore what assignment features look like for students. Once an assignment is assigned, the task appears in the student's account. 
It appears right after the login and blocks all activities in the student's account until the assignment is completed. In other words, individual learning pathway tasks will be paused and resumed once the additional teacher assignment is completed. Here on the slide, you can see what students see in their account. They can see the teacher assignment banner. Each point on the progress bar is equivalent to one task of five minute practice time. When the assignment is canceled automatically or by a teacher, the student will see a notification and will proceed to the individual learning path tasks. As mentioned earlier, the assignment feature comes with its own reporting section. This section offers a comprehensive view of each student's engagement, accuracy, and time spent on their assigned tasks, empowering you to make informed decisions in your instructional approach. Let's explore how to interpret student results on this page to maximize learning outcomes. At the top of the page, you'll find an overview of the practice time and skills assigned for a particular task. The practice time indicates the estimated duration for the assignment and the skills demonstrate the specific learning objectives addressed. The report provides a list of students who were assigned the task, each accompanied by their status and progress. The categorization allows you to identify students who may require additional support or who are doing well on their own. The status indicates whether the student has completed the assignment, it's in progress, has not started yet, or the assignment's been canceled by a teacher or automatically by happy numbers. The report shows you students who need intervention and students that are on track. It also displays students' accuracy in completing the task and the time they spent working on it. The accuracy percentage shows how well a student performed, indicating their grasp of the concept. The time spent metric helps you understand individual learning patterns, allowing you to celebrate students who work efficiently and address potential challenges for those who may require more time. When it comes to time that students spend on assignments, it is not counted towards their weekly time target. That is automatically set to 45 minutes. This is something to keep in mind. If you plan to regularly assign additional targeted practice, we recommend reducing the student's time target. Although time spent on assignments is not counted towards their weekly time target, it is still accounted for. You can find that information not only in the assignment report, but also here in your weekly dashboard. You can also find it in your student's activity stream. In the weekly dashboard, it is indicated by the letter A. And by hovering over it, you can see the amount of time that a student spent on an assignment and whether it was completed or canceled. Additionally, let's look at Angela's activity stream. By clicking on the student's name and scrolling down, I can also see information of her activity on assignments. Now that all the technical aspects are covered and you can confidently work with this feature, let's explore some of the ways it can be integrated into your weekly routines. Here are some of our suggestions. You can use the assignments feature for targeted practice by directing students to work on the topic you are covering in class, differentiation because you can group students based on their level of understanding and assign tasks to them accordingly. For example, students who are struggling can be grouped together for targeted instruction, while more advanced students can work independently on more challenging assignments. You can conduct assessments by using the assignments to identify and double check each student's individual strengths and areas for improvement. It may be helpful before introducing a new topic in class, which requires some prerequisite knowledge as well. You can assign personalized tasks that are tailored to each student's learning path. By combining our skills report tool and assignments, teachers can provide students with opportunities to work on skills that they need to develop. You can provide feedback. Using detailed reports and assignments, you can provide regular feedback to students and their parents about the student's progress and learning path. This feedback can be used to reinforce positive behaviors, correct misconceptions, and motivate students to continue working toward their learning goals. I hope this was a helpful tutorial on how to work with Happy Numbers Assignments feature. 
Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to support at happynumbers.com. Also, if you've already tried out assignments, any feedback is appreciated, so feel free to share it with us.